In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert units when we don't quite have the right conversion factor to use dimensional analysis on. If we don't have the exact right conversion factor we need, we can still convert. We'll just use several conversion factors until we get to the units we want. So, for example, if we start with 5 feet and we want to convert those into meters, well, we want those 5 feet to be a fraction, so we put them over 1. And then we start to set up a conversion factor. We don't want feet. They're in the numerator, so we put them in the denominator. We'd like to convert them into meters. The problem is we might not know the relationship between feet and meters. Maybe we only know feet and inches. We can change feet into inches knowing that 1 foot is 12 inches. Now, when we do that, the feet are gone, but we also don't want inches. So, what we'll do is we'll just set up another conversion factor to get rid of the inches we don't want. Inches go into the denominator, so they divide out. We might be able to convert into the metric unit, centimeter. Looking up that conversion, we see that 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. And now the inches divide out. The problem is we don't want centimeters either. We want meters. So we need to get rid of the centimeters with another conversion factor. To get rid of the centimeters, we need to put them in the denominator. One on the top, one on the bottom now. And we want those centimeters to ultimately become meters. We know 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Centimeters divide out, and we finally have the units we want. So what you see we've had to do is keep adding, or actually multiplying, by another conversion factor until we finally end up with the correct units that we need. And now we can multiply across to ultimately find our answer. Multiplying the numerator, 5 times 12 times 2.54, probably on a calculator, is 152.4 meters. Don't lose the units. Over 1 times 1 times 100 is 100. Dividing by 100 gives us 1.524 meters is the same as 5 feet. Several conversion factors until we reach our final destination. So if we're asked to convert 3 miles into yards, we'll start with those 3 miles, putting them over 1 so they're a fraction. We don't want miles, so to get rid of the miles, they have to go on the denominator. They're already in the numerator. Now, we'd like to convert the miles into yards. The problem is we might not know how many miles are in a yard or vice versa. But we might be able to find on a conversion sheet the relationship between feet and miles. We know that 1 mile is 5,280 feet. Now, the miles divide out, and we have feet. The problem is we don't want feet either, so we're going to get rid of the feet by multiplying by another conversion factor. To get rid of the feet, we put them in the denominator, because they're already in the numerator, and we want to change those feet into yards. We know 1 yard is 3 feet, and now the feet divide out, and we have the units we want. Once we have the units we want, we can quickly solve by multiplying across the numerator, 3 times 5,280 times 1 yard is, is 15,840 yards over 1 times 1 times 3. And dividing by 3 gives us 5,280 yards is our equivalent to 3 miles. So if we don't have the exact conversion factor we need, we will just keep multiplying by more and more conversion factors, changing the units we have into another unit until we finally have the units we want.